I was going to say, do you want to do All the right, vocals? Everybody, because thank you. I'm Thank you for tuning in today. You're listening to WRUU LP Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM WRU.org. We are Savannah Sonics Community Radio with Global Soul. And I have a very special show today planned for y'all. We have the band Krieger hey. in the house today. We got Sebastian Messer and Noah Borba. Borba. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. I was trying to make sure I got it right. And um, also, y'all are live on Facebook right now. So if you want to go to Facebook. What's up, Facebook? Hello, com Facebook. And uh, slash the Krieger Band, K-R-I-E-G-E-R Band. You can check that out live. So we're going to be doing a, um, a little, like a little desk concert. So uh, real quick, can y'all just do a little introduction and, and then we'll start listening to the jam. Well. Uh, as you know, I've been playing on the radio show for about three years now with my dad here, and uh, finally got a band together after a couple of years, and you know, just getting it together is kind of hard, and then some some stuff came up. We we just trying to get over that, and I think Noah and I are pretty solid players together. You know, we w- blend pretty well with mm-hmm. our uh, playing styles. He learns from me, I learn from him. You know, a lot, of, a lot of learning from each other. <laughs> Just that's, trying to that's that's awesome. show off to each other. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Noah? What, uh, tell us a little about yourself. Okay, my name is Noah Borba. I, I'm actually from Minnesota. I'm here in Savannah for college, and uh, in the summer I live in Atlanta with the rest of my family. Uh, I've been playing guitar for about five years, and I've played with a lot of musicians before. And rarely is it that you find someone that you that is both like really good and someone that you can like learn from and play with like consistently. Um, I've played a lot of shows, but most of them are open mics and a few uh, shows at the coffee shop here at Sebastian. We, we've been like a little duo since like this beginning of January. And as he said, uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff came up like in the process of forming this band. Uh, we've had people join, leave, et cetera, et cetera. And at this point, it's just the two of us right now, but we're in the process of getting more people in on this. We're in the process of working on more music, both the two of us and with other people. And uh, I guess that's just kind of how bands are, though, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's they, awesome. So y'all have been playing about the same time. I know uh, Sebastian started when he was like 13. And, I started uh, when I was about 14. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome that y'all are doing that. So, well, without any further ado, everybody, uh, the band Krieger, take it away. All right. If you like to gamble, I'll tell you I'm your man. Win some or lose some, it's all the same to me. Pleasure is to play, it makes no difference what you say. I don't share your greed, the only kind I need is the ace of spades. The ace of spades, ow. Playing through the high wall and dancing with the devil Going with the flow, it's all a game to me Seven no eleven, snake eyes watching you Double up or quit, double take a split The ace of spades, the ace of spades, ow No, I'm going to lose, cause gambling's fools But that's the way I like it, baby, I don't wanna live forever Don't forget the Joker Pushing up the ante, I know you've got to see me Read them and weep, the dead man's hands again I see, see, take one look and die No 
continue be The only thing I'll see is the ace of spades The ace of spades, oh cool um <clears throat> says we got four people watching on the facebook live all right hey guys, yeah what's that. up so um noah you you're from minneapolis or uh, I'm minnesota like 40 or? minutes west of minneapolis okay okay cool um how'd you end up in savannah my dad got a better job uh it just required him to move to Atlanta. Yeah. And Atlanta I, is really cool and all, but I it's very loud. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I just wanted something different than that, I guess. Uh, especially, like, moving there during pandemic season. You know, last summer, a lot of stuff was shut down that isn't shut down now. So I wasn't really... I didn't meet too many people. I wasn't really doing too much, you know, and it just felt it felt weird to, like, still being in that city for college. So I thought, hey, Savannah seems pretty cool, and Georgia mm-hmm. Southern's got the program I need. So it's mostly school that brought me here, but the city itself is, you know, Savannah is one yeah. of the most beautiful places you can be. That's uh, where you two met is at Georgia doubt. Southern, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And um, so, yeah, because I know uh, Sebastian if, uh, he had formed his band, like you know, Krieger and all the idea that like that warrior Viking thing or whatever. Like I remember, like he was like thirteen. He's like, Dad, can you draw this picture for me? And <laughs> you know, he'd draw this stuff. And he actually drew his own, you know, the logo, that Krieger logo. Mm-hmm. He's uh, done that. And then uh, it was so cool because same thing, like you were saying, um, it's hard to find people that are you know dedicated and actually play. To find so, anyone on the same page as you musically, yeah. it, it feels impossible sometimes. I think it's cool that you two, uh, you know, dynamic duo over here playing <laughs> and all. Um, what's uh, what's on the uh, what's the next one y'all want to play? Um, that's a good question. I think honestly, probably just me putting down a little rhythm. Yeah, if then, y'all want a noodle or something like that. And then Noah solo over that because yeah. he's been learning some arpeggios lately. <laughs> arpeggios. Arpeggios <laughs> lately. Arpeggios. Uh, awesome. Of, oh, okay, a lot of our best sound usually comes from whatever Sebastian and I are are just noodling actually. Because yeah. we can we can cover a lot of different stuff, but whenever uh, whenever one of us starts something and then the other person picks up on that you can kind of you get something really cool happening you know yeah Music's do it it's kind of like its own language that way you know like yeah you can, take it away yeah, right, yeah. No, do it down the drop D I got you
And you're tuning in today to 107.5 FMWRU.org. We are Savannah Sonics Community Radio with Global Soul. And I'm here today with the band Krieger, Sebastian Messer, and Noah Borba. And uh, yeah, that was pretty wicked, y'all. That was, that was pretty good. That was just a new, <laughs> you just new one, huh? Dance, man. Yeah. I think some of the uh, best creativity, though, comes from like when you just kind of get into it. Of course, I'm not a musician, but you know, I, I like to write and draw and stuff like that. And so, uh, what, what, um, we'll, we'll take turns. So, so, what inspires you, Sebastian? Or what, what well, gets you kind of juiced up to do? Honestly, I just like something that gets the, the blood flowing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, just nasty, mean little riffs, you know, just makes your, your face kind of pucker a little bit, you know? Something and that makes you speed. Yeah, something is. <laughs> you know, just yeah. like. You know, something like that. And just a lot of my influences come from like Metallica, Megadeth, Pantera, especially Megadeth. You know, just I like the way he's intricate. You know the way he plays is just, just very like stone cold face, and then just your fing- you see his fingers just flying on the fretboard. Yeah, and just stuff that you know just gets you going. You know. Yeah. How about you, Noah? What uh, what gets you going? Uh, people, I guess. Yeah. Uh, as strange as it sounds, like a lot of my best work comes from when someone asks me to just play something, and suddenly I play something. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm a very social person, as Sebastian would attest to. I force him out of his comfort zone a lot like that. But also, like, because of that, I tend to thrive a lot in social situations. And if I'm playing with other people, then I'm doing even better. So if I'm... It's usually, like, when I'm not alone that I have a lot of the best ideas, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing really more to it. Like, I'll play most genres, you know, I really like, I really like funk, I, I like blues, I like metal, I've been getting more into that the longer I've been hanging out with Sebastian. Mm. <laughs> Can y'all play some blues stuff? Oh, for oh, sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, all right, so this is the, this is the band Krieger, everybody, uh, and they're playing live here in the studio. Oh. So, um, so yeah, well, actually, while we got a second, I just want to go ahead and tell you, um, Valhalla Books, that's the publishing company that I started. We've got uh, some new books out. Josh Vasquez has his Savannah Zombie Novel Series. So if you want to get some more information on that, you can go to ValhallaBooks.com. Um, also, it's a uh, – what is it on the um, Instagram? It's Krieger Band. Yeah. Yeah, K-R-I-E. Krieger Band. Yeah, just look for the, uh, the little logo. It's got like a dead Viking. It says Krieger yeah. on it, and but yeah, it's on Instagram, and uh, y'all are still working on getting the YouTube and all that. So yeah, uh, I think we're gonna play. Uh, what is that song called? You'll, you'll know it when you hear it. You know.
Nice. Nice job. I didn't realize that, but my guitar was set to like zero volume for uh, that entire song up until. I was like, I was like, turn it up, turn it up. It was like, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to hear sometimes without a headset. So. All right, I can't tell. Uh, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, y'all had your first gig, and um, what was that like? Uh, well, at first, you know, it, it was not my first gig per se because we I've been doing the radio show sh- since. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, started. first gig as a band. Yeah, first yeah. gig together. You know, we on that Saturday morning we got together like twelve o'clock in the morning, and like we were just jamming all day. I actually broke a string, jamming. Hmm. And so I had to go get another pack of strings, go home and get another pack of strings, come back, and by the time I came back, we were, it was already time for us to go, and so we went all the way out to Hinesville to the Brick Wall Cafe. And uh, I had to change my strings over there on Noah's hood right before we went in parking <laughs> there lot. There you go. In the parking lot, <laughs> got it all tuned up and everything. We uh, we played this with this guy David, and I, I think we did pretty good. Well, that's we cool. We did pretty good. And, uh, what do you, what have y'all been working on lately? Lately, it's been a challenge uh, getting together. It's. Yeah, y'all have school and years, finals are coming up, right? Right. If anyone listening is in college or knows anybody in college, they know that right now is it's finals month. You know, it's final season, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, all the hard tests are coming up, and most of mine are done. Most of his are done. But up until, like, a, a day or two ago, it was nothing but constant homework and studying and everything like that. So college has kind of been what we've been working on lately. But... We uh, most of what most of what we've been really trying to do is just find time to to play really to just do what we were doing earlier. You know, one person lays something down, someone else picks it up, and mm-hmm. one thing we have a lot of fun doing that we could do next actually is uh, a little eruption solo. <laughs> well, not just that. Uh, yeah, as he might have been talking about earlier, we like you know. There's a lot of fun in like trying to outdo your buddy, mm-hmm. and or in like taking someone or like you know like when you're when you're evenly matched with someone on a talent you kind of you kind of push each other you know, mm. and we kind of do that in the most in your face way possible, and <laughs> that we'll we'll literally try to outdo each other one after the next. All right, well let's let's hear this lick. All right, let's, let's change it right back. Yeah, make sure you get your so- your sound right and all. Yeah, yeah. Let me make sure y'all can actually hear me this time. Um. I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, case scripts. Uh, as you know, everybody, this is uh, WRUU, and this is the Adam Messer Show. And I am, um, you know, this is my going into my third year doing this this show. This is an all-community radio station, and we're volunteers. We don't get paid for it. Um, we do it because we love it. Uh, I get to do, you know, really cool shows today with, uh, you know, Sebastian and with Noah, you know, Noah and their uh, band Krieger. Um we still have to pay the bills here. So we depend on our listeners like you who are generous with their donations. And, uh, we're doing our annual spring fundraiser, as you know, with the pandemic, it's been kind of difficult to be able to do things in person safely. So we have decided not to do uh, our spring fundraiser events in person, but we are doing them online. So I'm going to play this script for you. But yeah, even uh, I know it sounds really crazy, and I say this a, a bunch of times. But even a dollar uh, donation—if we had like two thousand people just giving one dollar a month, which would be like twelve dollars a year—we'd have enough to pay for our operational costs, you know, which include like the building, you know, electricity, equipment, um, and those things, our license, and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, please uh, c- take into consideration, and if you feel so inclined, uh, go to wru.org and give a donation. We need your support. All of the in-person fundraising events we normally have throughout the year have been canceled because of the coronavirus. Supporting WRUU with your financial gift is very important to us, and it is an easy thing to do. Contributing at the WRUU website, WRUU.org, is so easy. We accept major credit cards for one-time donations, and for monthly monthly gifts, we use PayPal, a trusted and convenient transfer method used for all kinds of online transactions. If you prefer to write a check and mail it in, you can do that too. 
Find the details for all of the payment methods at WRUU.org. And thanks for your financial support of Savannah's best local talk radio, as voted by readers in the most recent Connect Savannah poll, WRUU 107.5 FM. And for the first three donors who give a first or new donation of $500 or more will receive a limited edition painted record. We are back with a spring on-air fundraising campaign because we need your support. All of the in-person fundraising events we normally have throughout the year have been canceled because of the coronavirus. Supporting WRUU with your financial gift is very important to us, and WRUU lets you set the amount that you want to give to continue receiving our programming. Unlike just about every other company that you might support this week, if you like us a lot, you can give us a lot. And if you like us a little, you can give us a little. So many other media outlets are going behind a paywall. With them, you have no choice. But with WRUU, you have a choice to set an amount that's comfortable with your budget. The most important thing isn't how much you give, but that you give. Every dollar helps the station provide the music and talk programming that you appreciate. So today, go to WRUU.org and donate with either credit card or PayPal. And thank you for your financial support of Savannah's best local talk radio, as voted by readers in the most recent Connect Savannah poll, WRUU 107.5 FM. And for the first three donors who give a first or new donation of $500 or more will receive a limited edition painted record. We are back with a... All right, and we are back live in the studio, y'all, with the band Krieger, Sebastian Messer, and Noah Borba. And uh, they're getting ready to do like a little uh, jam off, <laughs> like play a little lick. Uh, Noah was just saying that they like to kind of challenge each other. And All right, so who wants to go first? Let's go first. Oh, okay. I can't hear it. I cannot hear it. All right, there we go. All right, let's do a sound check real quick with Noah, too. Nope. There we go. All right, all right, so. Started off. Little, uh, little lick here.
somebody call the fire department. These uh, guitars are smoking. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good, guys. Nice. I've got to do a station announcement real quick. Um, everybody, you're tuning in today to WRUU LP Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio Global Soul. This is the Adam Messer Show. My special guests today are the Krieger Band. We've got Sebastian Messer and Noah Borba. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. So uh, let's let's hear y'all play together like that. All right. Yeah, turn up a little. Right. Somebody's somebody trying to get a little low. Come on. Good. Yeah, that's good. You really got me now, you got me so I don't know what I'm doing Girl, you really got me now, you got me so I can't see that now Girl, you really got me now, you got me so I don't know what I'm doing Yeah, oh yeah, really got me now, you got me so I can't see by now You really got me, you really got me Never let me be. I only wanna be my your side. Please, you never let me be. I only wanna be by your side. Oh yeah, you really got me now. Got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, oh yeah, you really got me now. Got me so I can't not lie. You really got me. You really got me. You really got me. So I don't know what I'm doing Girl, you really got me now You got me so I can't see by now Yeah, you really got me now you got me so I don't know what I'm doing Yeah, oh yeah You really got me now You got me so I can't say not now You really got me So you sing too, Noah? Uh, <laughs> only when I can be really loud. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, can you play something where, can you sing something you could do on the mic here? Uh, or, not, I don't <laughs> think it's anything that we can do on, uh, on the radio. Um, okay, usually, well. like, when I, if I'm singing, I, uh, I'll have, like, Sebastian singing, like, you know, on, like, lead vocals and all mm -hmm. that, and then if it's a song with, like, screaming in it, I can be in the back and I can just belt loud enough to where it, like, overcomes the lack of mic in front of me. I gotcha. And that's when it sounds really good, because otherwise, when there's not the extra volume to push, like, that bass out and yeah. to, and that, like, you know, groveliness out that I try to hit, yeah. then, then it doesn't, it doesn't come out the way it's supposed to, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I just yeah, it does. I, it does. Yeah, I, I need like space to for the volume to kind of fill in. You know. That's cool. No ballad rock yet, huh? No, nothing, nothing <laughs> yet, nothing yet. Um, what? Uh, let me ask y'all. Um, since we're in between, uh, what you said that you know you were talking about your influences. Um, Noah, what were your influences as far as music? 
a lot of like the greats uh, that played the blues. So like Jimi Hendrix for start was a huge influence. And then for like a year of my life, I just wanted to sound like Stevie Ray Vaughan and nothing else. Mm. And then I got into like Stevie Ray Vaughan's influences and like Jimmy's influences to see like where I could, uh, like what I could get out of what they got, you know? Mm -hmm. And then from there it went to, uh, there's a bar over in Atlanta called the Northside Tavern and the musicians there, they acted as like a huge influence for me uh, in just like the last year because some of them old folks that are still playing guitar and still, you know, getting out there and performing at bars, those guys are better than better than us by miles for sure. Mm -hmm. Those people that have been playing forever and that have way different influences than you can imagine, you know? A lot of what they played was funk, so that kind of influenced a lot of my playing, you know? Like, like a lot of like that like syncopation. <laughs> the swing to something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And that, uh, I kind of found that, like, the best music that people really like is music they can dance to, you know? Mm-hmm. And so when you got something with a little swing in it, you got something that you can, you know, you can start bopping your head, do start, like, tapping your feet, you know? You can kind of, like... You know, it's something yeah. like that, like, you can... You know, if you can get someone like bopping their head, then you've already got them invested in your song. Yeah. And I figured that's that's pretty important. <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, we still, we still got people watching on Facebook, so that's pretty cool. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, Bastion, uh, Sebastian, with uh, with that, how have your how have your influences changed? You know, because you were talking about nowhere, like where you kind of started off, and then how it's kind of evolved. Well, uh, same question for you. Well. I started out on Eddie Van Halen, so I I wanted to be the next Eddie Van Halen. I think we had a video somewhere, my first guitar lesson. I'm like, oh, you like, what do you want to uh, want to do with the guitar? I'm like, I want to be the next Eddie Van Halen, right? So it evolved from Eddie Van Halen, just listening to Van Halen 24/7 as long as I can, and just from there. It went from to like Metallica. I remember listening to Master of Puppets in the car, the very first time uh, we were we were with you. Yeah. We're all like, "Oh, our head hurts! Please, can you t please turn it off." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like, I just remember hearing Megadeth for the first time. Yeah. Mom, Sabrina, that, that's my sister. Uh, Sabrina, we were all going from ballet. My my sister took ballet, and so we were going to the McDonald's down the road on 80 and I remember playing that I think I was in 10th grade I played it on my phone I was listening to it it was Holy Wars you know the you know that mm -hmm. the Holy Wars and I, like, I just changed everything like I was a really big Metallica fan at that time and it's just like hearing that guitar just that riff just changed everything about how I like wanted to play like a watershed moment for you yeah oh, that's cool you know, it just, and then it, as I got to know my older sister, Sasha, her boyfriend, Dylan, just the kind of influences I just got thrown into, like Cannibal Corpse and Obituary and Death, it's, it's a really big one. I like Death a lot. He's very intricate with his playing, too. Very clean, but it's like, it's like a classical kind of, you know, turn on metal. Classical mm -hmm. shredding. Not just like. Oh, I'm you know just gonna play fast just to play fast. Mm -hmm. It's like he's just very methodical with how he plays and how he you know where he puts certain pieces. And so just just different people. And then uh, on Spotify, I, I just you know go into like I'll listen to a whole discography of a band, see if I really like them or not. Which is like I'll hear uh, just songs playing on the radio. I'm like, oh, what is that? You know, mm -hmm. and I'll add it to my thing and I'll just play it on repeat for a couple days and then I'll get sick of it and then you know into the vault it goes you know? <laughs> yeah I gotcha um, question for you Noah with uh, with meeting up at college and you know obviously you're playing beforehand and, and whatever um, when y'all started playing together you, you started clicking 
what was that like for you? Because, like you said, you you played before, but you never really had anybody to play with. Um, for me, playing with someone is like it. <laughs> I think uh, I think for anyone that's good at an instrument, playing with someone else is either the best thing in the world or the worst thing in the world because you know what you want to do, and you know you know how you want both you and the other person to sound, but they might not be on the same page. Mm -hmm. And I remember for the first, I want to say 20 minutes of us playing together, uh, it was me trying to like play something, and then Sebastian would get all ADD and play something metal. <laughs> and he'd be like, you know how to play this? And I'd be like, no. Like, believe it or not, I <laughs> don't actually. And then it'd be like, oh, I'll just, I'll just do this, and then you can do this. And I, I remember having to kind of like, force him to just be like, hey man, I don't know these songs that you know. I can't play them at the same time that you're playing them. It's not going to work like that. Yeah. But then I told him, I was like, hey man, why don't, why don't you just like chill out? I'm going to do something in A, uh, like the key of A, and you can do whatever you want, but if you do it in the key of A and you do it to the same rhythm I'm doing it to, then it's going to sound really good. And then we sat there, and for like, I want to say like five minutes straight, I played the same like funk riff in a while he like messed around on there and after like a couple like second like a good like 30 seconds of us playing that's when it really started to click because mm -hmm. he he's a big rhythm player like that's all metal is it's rhythm you know it's the mm -hmm. guitar doing the exact same thing as the drums and making it sound good so he understood rhythm and he was able to pick up on that real fast and like i said for like five minutes straight we were just playing this funky little thing in a mm -hmm. and that right there was when i was like all right now now i can see where now i can see something going on here if we can if we if we can actually like do this like this you know what i mean mm -hmm. if i can lay something down and then he can pick up on it and we can stay in the same rhythm that's that's game over that's the whole <laughs> that's everything to music you know yeah so at first it was frustrating, but do that you, lasted like you, uh, five minutes. Do you play by ear, or how do you play? Uh, I know Blast, you play a lot by ear, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you play guitar long enough, you can hear a note in, like, there it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you can, you can like, kind of mess around until eventually you find the fret. But the Internet's out there, and that, that's a huge resource for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is for everybody. Just about everything you can, you exactly. can find it on the Internet. Yeah, it, no, put the time into it, you can... You can learn just about anything out there. Uh, what do y'all want to play next? Uh, I could lay down some rules. Oh. I am an antichrist. And I am in, and I kiss. Know what I want, but I know how to get it. Wanna destroy, buy some bling, cause I wanna be energy in the city.
cause I want to be in the key. Cause I wanna be in a kiss. today to WRU LP Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM WRU.org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul. This is the Adam Messer Show, and I'm your host, Adam Messer, here today with my special guests, the band Krieger, Sebastian Messer, and Noah Borba. And uh, so, yeah, what's uh, what's on the agenda next? Um, Honestly, I think we might just jam for a little bit. Uh, just let on, let on some blues. Like yeah, yeah, about we got about a good 10 minutes left, so if y'all want to... Y'all want a noodle or whatever? Play something, you know. Why don't you play something original? Like All you're right. talking about, uh, you know, you two riffing off each other or whatever? That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. You want me to start off? Yeah, yeah, so.
everybody. Um, you're listening to the Adam Messer Show, and I'm your host, Adam Messer, here today with my special guest, the band Krieger, with uh, Sebastian Messer and Noah Borba. We've just got a couple minutes left, uh, uh, guys, and so um, any final thoughts? Uh, I think our first radio you know, interview with each other, it's pretty good. If you're yeah. listening to this and you play the drums, please. Or the bass. Please. <laughs> age, you're looking for a bassist. 19 to 21. That would, that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> please. Contact us, us on Krieger Band. <laughs> K-R-I-E-G-E-R-B-A-N-D. <laughs> nice. On Instagram, please. Or one more time. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, the, the cool thing about it, though, is like... Uh, you find somebody you play together or whatever, and, and you seem like you gel. You know, it's really good, so it's nice. Um, you are you going to be back uh, during the summer? Or are you going to be back this fall? I'm going to be back in the fall. Uh, okay. Over the summer, I'm actually going to be taking over kind of like a personal project, I guess. Okay. Good. Um, because I'm going to be in Atlanta, and I've already gotten contact with uh, two. I want to say two. They're not like really big rappers, but they, you know. They're they're respected and they make music and people listen to them. Nice. Uh, what I'm gonna be trying to do is feature on honestly as many different songs as I can. Okay, good uh, for you. The music scene in Atlanta is crazy. Oh yeah, crazy right now. I mean, Atlanta is like where everyone's looking to for the music. Honestly, mm-hmm. um, it's it, it's like the new kind of West Coast almost. You know. Yeah. The way that like that was back in the days, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um. And if I can make a name for myself just as a session musician or something like that, then I'll be able to find and get in contact with more people that can play in the band. Nice. And maybe find people that are in Savannah at the same time that I am, you know? That's cool. What about you, Bass? You got the summer plans? Uh, I'm trying to, you know, work and also get going on this music stuff, going, writing new songs, trying to get it out there, you know? That's good. That's good. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate y'all being on the show today and um, Facebook Live. Everybody's like, Err. what's up, Facebook? Sweet. So, thanks a lot. Y'all want to play us out? Sure. All right, again, uh, the Krieger Band, Band Krieger.